I'm Ron Carpenter and I'm at Ron Carpenter's Oakland Garage and we're assembling a 28 Oakland wheel. So to start with assembling the 28 Oakland wheel, installing the bolts and you put them in the holes, make sure they're free to go in and then you rotate the wheel Then you got the wheel turned over, we're assembling the wheel. And the modern way to do it is you add Loctite to all the bolts and then put the nuts on. Then you get all the nuts tight. old-fashioned way of doing it, the factory's way, is they took a center punch right on the edge of the bolt and staked it twice. But the Loctite is a much better process for today. Okay, this is my 28 Oakland that I bought in 1966 and uh, so it was restored and finished in about 1970. And it's got 66,000 miles on the car. It's been repainted and the engine rebuilt years ago. And this is my real pride and joy. <gasps> Good morning. We're back at Gary's Garage with my 29 Oakland. But today we're finishing up Roger's wheels for his 28 Phaeton. And as you can see, he's done a lot of work on these to get these wheels in beautiful shape. Uh, varnished the spokes, had them pinstriped. All the lug nuts have been spiked and, and put back in and painted the proper colors for the rest of the car. We have a new tire and a new tube. First, we're going to mount the, uh, the rim into the tire, and then we'll drop the wheel in. I'm afraid to scratch it. We've uh, hooked our, our mounting crank here. And what you want to do is have it, the first hook right there at the split rim. And these two guys towards the back. And then that'll pull it. You want to pull that in so the rest of it can, these two halves, pass each other. And we'll just crank some of this away. Here you, we've got the wheel going in. The first half went in pretty good. And now we'll turn the wheel around and start working the big screwdriver, the rest of the rim in. Now we've got the wheel on and we use the two screwdrivers. It's worked well with two people and pried the, the rim all the way around, pops right in, no problem at all. Then you gotta pry in so there's a, a pin here that goes in the little hole. The next thing that is gonna drop right in there. And it looks like we might be home.
final step would be to insert these rim holders with bolts to the wheel and the rim. That'll go on in there and the bolt will drop through. Bolt up, the, tighten up the other side and off we go. And this, Here we are with a finished wheel, ready to go back on the car. All put together, we've got to pump some air into it now and put project is getting there and it's looking really good. Stay tuned for our next exciting video in the Oakland world.